Hi guys, welcome back to today's video. So for today's video, I am going to do a full face of BH Cosmetics makeup. Well, almost a full face. Before we jump into this video, feel free to give it a like and also feel free to subscribe. And let's get going. So to begin, I'm actually going to jump into the eyes and do that first. I have some of the new products I'm going to use, like the glitter base and then the eye pencils as well and then also the lashes. If you haven't seen my haul video, feel free to check that out too. So I have these two glitters from BH Cosmetics that I previously purchased long ago. I haven't really used them much. I dipped into them once or twice. One here is, this one is called Lit. It is more of like a red toned. And this one is called Warm Espresso. Warm Espresso which is a brown. I do like a brown with like a pop of teal because I also have oops, my Loose Pigment, which is a I'm in Dazzlers in the shade Flashy. So to begin, I'm just going to put a base down on my lid. And Oh yeah, <laughs> the other most important part. I have my uh, palette, which I can do the pop of color on the lower lash line. I'm just going to try doing some makeup. I'm not really going to go with a look. This is just to do a full face of BH makeup. I'm using Trendsetter, I'm going to place that into my crease. The shade is a neon shade. Neon oranges, I think, are really hard to build up. Most of them that I have used from Lil BH and I think ColourPop, they, they can be difficult to build up. You need like a lighter base than what I'm currently using, but we're gonna make it work. Just a bigger fluffy brush with the shade Karaoke, which is the yellow, this edge. Just to buff it a little bit. I definitely think I should use a lighter base like I did in my last video. Just so I can get these shadows to pop just a little bit more, but it's fine. I think it's looking okay. They definitely could be popping out a little bit more, but what can you do? I want just a little bit of a darker base. I'm gonna use this eye stick from the Buy Shop. It's their black sparkly one. And I'm just gonna place that on my lid before we go in with the shimmer. I'm taking the glitter base, and this is where it's gonna get interesting. So I'm actually just gonna use my finger to apply it because I find your fingers are easier to clean off than using brushes. So with the small amount on my finger, I'm going to tap it onto my lid and then go right on top of it with the glitter. I'm the glitter on a flat brush. That looks like shit. <laughs> Before I move on, let's try to make this look better. I'm gonna take actually a brown eyeshadow. I don't have one currently from BH. I'm gonna use one from the body shop since it's a pal next to me on a little blending brush. I'm just tapping this around the edge. And then with that orange, a little bit of sushi actually. I don't know what I just did, but I'm gonna learn from it. On this eye, I'm now taking that brown shadow and bringing it higher. And we're going to diffuse everything out before we go in with the glitter glue. It's the right idea, right? There we go, that looks so much better on the side. I have to clean up the edge, don't mind me. I'll get there. I'm gonna use it on the brush this time. Give it a try, and we're gonna lightly tap. I'm 
and anxious and fly to home. But if you wanna travel, then go alone. Yeah, what's the point in us if I never know? That definitely looks <laughs> much better. Question is, how do we fix this one? I think I got it fixed enough that it works. Um, perfect. No, but we're just having fun with this today, giving it a try. I think this comes down to my technique, not the makeup. <laughs> I'm moving on to the lower lash. I'm just gonna keep it fun because it's already doing something on its own. Taking the waterproof eyeliner, the power pencil, in the shade teal, and I'm gonna put this on my waterline. So taking this pencil, and I'm gonna pop this right in my waterline. Let's hope this is creamy. Oh wow, well, very. This went on like butter. Back in with the Trendy in Tokyo palette. And I'm going to take the shade here, Fortune. Having that in my lower lash line. That blended really well. You know, I think I'm having with these shadows is that they're like that pigment, but they're a little bit sheer. So it takes more to really like pack them on. With a smaller pointed brush, I'm now going in with Lively. So bright. <laughs> to keep going with the eyes, I'm going with the loose foiled pigment and like dipping my brush into like these little holes to hopefully pick some up. That is gorgeous. I'm in love with that. So I'm gonna pop on some lashes. I'm gonna use the shade, the style shade. <laughs> the style D305. I'm throwing a little glue. Look at that. It's black. Hmm. Taking the glue and gingerly putting it on. Lashes are on. <laughs> I feel like the glue took an actual second to dry, but like, it wasn't a problem. I just filled in my brows so it wasn't moving my face too much. And that's about it. I'm gonna move on to the face. This is where I'm getting a little scared. My foundation, and I swatched it in my last video, the haul video. It was a little red. And I'm gonna gently take out the top. I'm just gonna apply it with a brush today. Two, three-ish small pumps. Take in the brush, and I'm gonna begin tapping in all over my skin. Oh, this shade does not look good. It just looks so, like, peachy and, yeah. So I just looked up this <laughs> foundation, just to make sure like I was right about the claims. It says it's a um, medium to full coverage and it's hydrating. It definitely has like a shine to it so I can see there's hydration in it. But this ain't a medium to full coverage. This is more like a light to medium. And the shade is so bad. <laughs> I'm not sure how bad it looks on camera. I think you can tell like that it looks, it looks red. I'm just gonna conceal and then powder. So I don't have a concealer. There wasn't a concealer in stock in my shade. So I'm just gonna use the Juvia's Place concealer in hopes that this helps it. It's okay. <laughs> so I did use a lot of concealer <laughs> to try to correct the shade. I got a little bit there. I'm just hoping now the powder is gonna be a decent match and work out all right. This is the brush I use for the BH Cosmetics foundation. This is my normal foundation brush. This is like way more red and pinky and like rose red. Yeah, definitely red. than this one, which is a little more like orangey and like yellow. This is the BH Cosmetics Studio Pro 
matte finish pressed powder. I'm gonna take like this tapered pointy brush and with a little bit of the powder and begin setting underneath my eyes. This has like a little bit of a tone to it, so it's a little bit darker. Now I'm taking a powder puff and begin pressing all over my skin. So this powder actually has a nice finish. It's slightly, has like a little bit of red in it, but I definitely think I can make this powder work. It's matte finish. It has built a light to medium coverage, which works well on the foundation because it is not a medium coverage. <laughs> I guess we'll bronze. The Brilliance Bronzer, I got the shade Bronze Beige. This is the second to latest shade, so I'm gonna give this one a try. Really, this has a really nice mirror. So I'm just gonna take some of the powder and try to bronze. don't look like I'm the same shade anymore. Anyway, so now I'm just gonna take back my Trendy in Tokyo palette and just darken up, I mean, intensify again these lower lash line. Finish out the rest of the face, I'm gonna use some of the tried and trues I actually have for BH. <laughs> so I have their blush palette and their spotlight highlight palette. In the blush palette, I'm going to take Made this rosy shade. And then before we highlight, I'm just gonna set my skin and I'm gonna use the Buy Shop Makeup Setting Spray. I used to use the BH one actually, then well, I ran out of it, so. <laughs> my try and true, the Spotlight Highlight Palette, going in with Radiance and maybe a mixture of Dream and highlighting my cheeks. Last two items to finish off the face from BH is their lip aligner in the shade Nude and then their liquid linen lipstick in the shade Natalie. These are really, really creamy. Give this one a try. And I'm gonna use that's it. That's it. <laughs> I look crazy. <laughs> Here's the finished look. Where do I begin? I'll have in the description um, all the products I purchased and I'll give them like a star, a star rating from like one to five so you guys can get an idea of gauging of like how I feel about them without hearing me ramble on about everything. Well, we'll start from the beginning. This palette, the trending, the trending in Tokyo palette is actually really nice. The issue I have with it is that some of the shades aren't pigmented enough. They have a little bit of a sheerness to them. So I definitely think you're gonna need a white base below them or a black one to really make them stand out and you have to pack it on first. I love the look of this glitter. It's very fine, it's not chunky. Looks good, looks good, you know? <laughs> the eyeliner, love it, love it, love it. <laughs> it is so creamy and it doesn't even look like it's moving around or anything. It's, it's a bonus in my books. These lashes are gorgeous. They're super comfortable, easy to put on. The glue that comes with them isn't ideal, but most people have their own eyelash glue anyway. So if not, I, if you don't have your own, I'd recommend getting like, um, even just a cheap one like Duo. Moving on to the foundation. It just um, doesn't work on my skin, the color. It's just so red, so red. <laughs> They can't call it golden if it comes off red. I'm sorry, you can't, you just can't. The blush and highlight is something I use all the time, so I'm not even gonna comment on those. I think they're really good palettes. The lips, I really like the lip liner. It's super creamy. Just this does not look good. This is the shade Natalie, and online it looks super, it looks deeper than it actually is. I'll insert a photo so you can see the comparison that this 
is not the same. So that is my full face of BH Cosmetics makeup. If you like this video and like to see me trying out a full face of a new brand, or well, not even a new brand, but some new products from a brand, feel free to give this video a like. And also feel free again to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye. I look crazy.